Okay, so hello friends, I'm Om, and today we're gonna go through Peak OS. Well, I'm gonna explore and show you Peak OS. I've been testing this operating system for a literal long time. As you know, it is Peak OS, the Hyperland version. And yeah, with that, I was able to explore Hyperland as well. And right now, I'm on this machine. You can pause and see. And I've been mostly using it for, well, my video editing on DaVinci Resolve and gaming on my you know Fallout 84 game which I love to play and while doing so it had so much more like for starters it is based on Debian okay so most of the things are really really stable and it has property drivers of Nvidia as well let me just show you there we go and it has all the extensions you're ever gonna need with all the things like it's so damn optimized everything is just amazing here and then I have this GNOME softwares, which I mostly use for, well, flat pack applications. Again, refreshing data. This is the only thing I don't like about GNOME softwares. But leaving that, you know, PeakOS delivers a really promising thing. Like, as you see here, I just love this high plan setup. For example, we have this one place destination where you can see how much CPU is going to be used, then the temperature, then the memory, then the storage. And then you can change the wallpaper from here as well, like this. I should go on with something better, like, yep, this one. This looks nice. But leaving that, you have performance profiles as well. And then you have a dedicated settings place, like, this is Noctalia, where you can change basic things like corners, you know, turn them on and off, then the dog here, then you can dim the background wallpaper if you want to, then you have things there, screen recorder, there's an inbuilt screen recorder, then you have this time and weather, you can just place your city, networks, which has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi proper, then display settings, just a little, but it gets the work done. Then you have, re you know, media virtualization, and then you have this where you can change things, you know, like, mic and put output and stuff then bluetooth devices and then all the wi-fi networks here and then you have the applications running in the background for example right now this one peak os update manager looks like there are some updates let's open it so i can commit apt and flat pack updates right from here if i want to see the updates what are the updates then i can see here this is pico manager device manager kernel and the first setup and kernel of pika well yeah but I don't plan to update them because I'll be leaving from this operating system soon. If you ask the reason, well, because, you know, for my daily driving, like, yes, it is just so optimized that if I ask you, like, for video editing and gaming, it's just a perfect place. Like, I just love how it looks and then how it works in everything. Like, recently I created a video. There it is. It works so flawlessly and as you can see the playback is just so damn smooth like really and this is a 1080p 60 fps way too high quality file with you know a little color correction and rtx super resolution and stuff yep like you know ai scaling i did it in the what do you call it the color tab but leaving that as you can see the glow and everything it's just so damn good and then I have my own gaming, which, you know, I play usually on Steam. As you can see, there's an update. It's been downloaded right now. And Fallout 84 turned out to be pretty nice. Like, I can easily get 100 FPS with NVIDIA DLSS. It's really amazing at the highest graphics. Then I can also play Asphalt Legends. I used to play it on Linux as well. And there are so many games which are now really good for Linux. And if you want to see the particular design for Linux, you can just search, see this great on deck, which is like, you know, which are great for Steam Deck. And if they're good on Steam Deck, then they're also going to be really amazing for your Linux setup. Yep, that is something nice. This update is taking all my internet. Let me just pause it, then go back. Now, hopefully it should load. Wow, no connection. So good. Well, leaving that. We have this, well, application menu where you can see things like this. Yep. Just like that. And everything is just so damn fluid. And then we have this. Well, where is it? 
will just window switch off a suit and this is pretty optimized like if i search for nvidia smi as you can see it has persistence mode on you usually see this on most of the linux distributions like it is pretty rare to get this out of the box you can enable it through some commands but still this is nice and as you notice know, debian 12 it's not the latest graphics but it is the most stable and performative one then you have other stuff as well and yeah you also have synaptic package manager as well where is it and yeah to be honest that's it like we have some stats here which is just cpu usage then the temperature then the gigahertz yep that's it not much and if you have any music playing in the background you will see it here for example if i open files and yeah i had to download two files this is gnome files which is not a list this is you know the normal files maybe it is called thunar maybe but leaving that let's say i play something not like that it's an mp3 i need a video like this open it with vlc then you will see it here yep there and yeah that's pretty much it yep that is it and I will say one thing, my internet is damn bad. Well, we can explore some wallpapers because there is one thing I like about it and it has an amazing set of wallpapers at your disposal. I did install my own a few. Oh yeah, this one actually looks damn good. But usually the color theme also changes according to this wallpaper, usually. I don't know why it hasn't yet. I wonder, like when you go to the wallpaper, you have this use wallpaper theme why the hell it is not available loaded yet then sww well what if we say fit let's just leave that well there's not much here then yep there ain't much now and yeah with that being said i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel and i'll meet you next video till then i'm um signing out and yeah i'm getting bored with these things lately let me know in the comments if you have something interesting